Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at an example of predictor, predictor, uh, the predictor corrector, and we're going to be looking at the second order Adams uh, Bashworth and Adams Moulton uh, second order methods. So that's your explicit uh, Adams Bashworth would be the explicit, and the Adams Moulton is the implicit uh, method, which means that this is AB2 is predict predictor, and AM2 is the corrector. Now, uh, h is 0 0.1, same problem we've solved before several times now. yn plus 1 equals yn plus 0 0.1 over 2 times, uh, this is the, remember this is the predictor, so 3, and then we'll have um, x n y n minus um, x n minus 1, y n minus 1, so that would be uh, our predictor formula and the corrector so I put an asterisk on this to indicate it's the predictor and the corrector would of course be of, um, yn plus again 0.1 over 2 and then we have from our um, initial condition the problem is the x1 y1 so the y1 we don't have x1 we do of course remember just to show you here on the side what's going on, uh, remember x0 is 0, y0 is 1, and of course uh, xn is just x0 plus nh. So this means that x1 is just 0 0.1, x2 is 0 0.2, x3 is 0 0.3, and so on. Okay. So we don't have a problem with calculating x at any step. It's We have it. The issue is the y, of course, which is what we're trying to uh, compute here. Now, in order to start this, we need y1. To get y1, we have to use the Runge-Kutta. So I'm going to use the second order Runge-Kutta, and if you remember that, the second order Runge-Kutta is this. Uh, basically, we're just trying to calculate y1. So y is, uh, this is rk2 is what we're using. y1 is equal to y0 plus um, we have 1 over 2 into k1 plus k2, okay? Where, of course, uh, k1 is h, which is 0 0.1 into, um, and we're doing now, remember, x0, y0, and k2 is uh, 0 0.1 times um, xn plus, one, uh, plus h, so that's going to be x0, plus 0 0.1 and times uh, y0 plus k1, all right? So that's going to be our k2. So if we calculate that, um, let's do that quickly here. x0 is 0, y0 is 1, so that means that k1 is 0. That implies that k2 is going to be 0 0.1 times, x0 is 0, remember, so that's 0 0.1. k1 is now 0. So that leaves y0 here, so that's a 1. y0 is 1, so we get 0 0.01. So k2 is 0 0.1 into uh, 0.1 into 1, which is 0 0.01, okay? So now that means that we can calculate y1. y1 turns out to be, therefore, 1 plus 0.5 into k1 is 0 plus 0 0.01. So it's equal to, you'll note, that, you'll note that we calculated that before if you have seen the earlier video on the Rangakara. But anyway, we've got our y1. Now that's our starter. So that provides us with, um, uh, anyway, you'll, you don't need to calculate f1. We'll just now move. So that's our starter. Once we have our starter, we can go for our predictor. And the predictor, now Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set up my uh, the table here, okay, just to let you see how we're going to calculate this. So, put a little line here, sorry. All right, and we'll do our iterations. So, n would be our iterations. Okay, and our first iteration is uh, the iteration starting at 1, of course. And we have the value of x. Okay, and we don't need much more than that except we calculate our y n star, which is our predictor, and we'll calculate, of 
course y and the improvement so uh, this one at this uh, the first one is 0 0.1 here uh, that's um, uh, so y1 star y1 star i'm sorry we're not going to start at that point uh, pardon me we're going to start at the n equal when uh, you know not n equals 2 but rather um, x2 so x2 is 0 0.2 and so we go, go and calculate y2 star and y2 star is going to be y1 okay it's going to be y1 plus um, 0 0.1 over 2 which is 0 0.05 okay and it's going to be multiplied by three times uh, x1 y1 so x1 is 0 0.1 and y1, this is where we'll use the Rangakutta starter, 1.005. And then we'll have, of course, subtract that from x0, y0, which is just going to be 0 because x0 is 0 and y0 is 1. So that's that means that, and remember, y1 is the same, the 1.005. Sorry, I should have written that down here. Let me put that down here, 1.005. So that turns out to be equal to... So that equals 1.020075. Now that's our predictor. So when we go into the corrector now, so that means, corrector means this formula. So n is not 2 here, by the way. n is, this is all 2, remember. So we're calculating y2 now, y2. So y2 star, uh, remember we just calculated that is 1.020075. Okay, so that turns out to be so we end up with uh, this uh, corrected value of 1.0202258. Now, of course, um, in the same way, so you see you calculate predictor, then you calculate the corrector. So predictor, corrector, that's how we continue. Uh, let's do maybe one more iteration. So um, we're, as we move to calculating y3 star, y3 star, which means, which means n equals 2 here. So that means y2. So y2 is going to be, um, the, the y2 is going to be, uh, sorry, it's going to be this. We're going to use this y2 now, remember. So we'll use the, the y2 here. Uh, that's 1.02022258. So then we'll have, basically, we'll have that. There's the y2. Then we'll have plus 0 0.05 and multiplied by 3 and we'll have x2, y2. Now, careful here, x2, y2. So x2 is, of course, um, 0 0.2. Okay, and y2 is going to be this value here. So I'm just going to point that because I don't have the space to write it in. It's quite long. And then we'll have three value. Okay, and that's going to be y2, which is, of course, this 1.02022258 plus... Uh, we have 0 0.05 and all of that is inside we've got uh, of course x1 x2 y2 so that will be this value again okay multiplied by x2 which is 0 0.2 and we have the predicted value here so we'll have the 0.3 and multiplied by this value here so one point Okay, and that will turn out to be equal to, okay, so here's the this value, so 1.04615117. And in this way, you can continue to calculate uh, using the, the predictor correctors. Um, hopefully, you get the idea. Now, of course, the fourth order uh, predictor correctors, which I showed you in a previous video, just the formula for them. Um, that's quite long to calculate, um, but it can be done, of course, not such a big deal. Um, but of course, it does require, uh, it makes more sense to do that um, using some, uh, using a computer. Either you can do it in Excel, and of course, preferably you could do it in uh, something like Python, perhaps. Anyway, we'll stop here. Thank you.